Hello, Gold here, and today we're going to make a lead run. Now, I tried to keep it in the best order I could, but it's, it's going to jump around a little bit in some spots. But these are some of the best places to find lead, and I also incorporated a lot of these into the video just because they're places that we frequent or places that we pass by on a regular basis, which will make it a lot easier for us to obtain those extra pieces of lead. Now, every location in here you're going to get at least 10 or more lead some of them you get quite a bit and i try like i said i tried to group them together to where they make sense so as you can see on the screen there's some charts showing you what items contain which amount of lead and a lot of these items may be overlooked if we uh, didn't realize it before like the wood blocks and the baby rattles and things like that now this lead run if you make this lead run and hit all these places you'll have enough lead to last you for weeks um, i was able to make tens of thousands of rounds of 45 ammo with the lead that i accumulated from making this run and if you do it all in sequence if you just dedicated to say i'm going to do this this morning or one day it shouldn't take any more than a couple of hours i know that seems like a long time but to get enough lead to last you to make the ammunition for a couple weeks it's definitely worth that run so let's check it out so we're going to start off up here at the West Virginia Lumber Company. Probably remember this place. It was uh, part of one of the first missions that we did with the Duchess from the Wayward. Uh, this is one of the longer ones. Uh, we have to go from one side to the other, and there are a lot of enemies here. So we want to just be aware of that. And a couple of lead right there, and if we go up these steps, then you're generally going to find a combination wrench here. Now keep in mind, your tool chests, they do randomize to a degree, but most of the time i've found that combination wrench in there now if we go running across here we're gonna find a couple of more some more stuff we got a combination wrench there so we're already up to about six or eight lead i forget now if we look here another combination wrench I always check these tool boards like this these little displays and peg boards and you're gonna see some uh, combination wrenches a lot and there's another one there and if we go upstairs we're gonna make our way around here and there'll be another one here usually now like we know those are randomized there's a wooden block and a tin can so that's more lead one each got an empty paint can and that's some steel but then we got some more tin cans up here so three more lead there and over here a toy rocket ship for another lead and some rat poison for five lead and if we make our way all the way to the other side of the camp you're going to find a lead pipe and a combination wrench but they're going to be on that table i threw some grenades over here so it knocked them on the ground and i just put them in that toolbox so here we see a makeshift battery that's two more lead and if we make our way around here and in here we're going to find one more lead right over here lead pipe and there we go so now if we go inside we go up the ramp um, upstairs there's a lot of steel and all you can scrap and some stuff like that but if we go in there's a little bit more lead in here it's worth coming in to get we got us a uh, tin can down here get it now up the stairs and as we go up the stairs we're going to find a couple more combination wrenches and tin cans here and there's another combination wrench. I always grab all of it and scrap it all because you need the steel just as much as the lead. Aluminum, which produces the lead. Another combination wrench. And a little bit more steel there that we saw. And then there's two more, two more cans right here for two more lead and steel. If we go back down, there's just a couple of more pieces that we want to grab before we leave out of here. And a combination wrench there maybe there most of the time it is and downstairs one last thing a pencil one more lead next we're gonna move over to the darling sisters lab and this is just right southeast of where we're at so it's worth stopping by there's this is one of the smaller ones um, we're only gonna pull I believe eight lead out of this one cabin right here but it's worth you know if you're already in the neighborhood it's definitely worth stopping by toy alien there's one lead toy truck another lead toy lead and a toy car another lead and then there's four blocks inside of this right here inside this box and there we go 
All right, so since we're in the neighborhood, we might as well run on over here. To Lady Jane Soft Serve. When we get over here, there's gonna be a few ghouls to take out. Not too many, I believe about four. But there's not a ton of lead here, but there's a decent amount. You have a pencil here on the table and you have several cans here and there's one or two on the ground also so we get those and we go inside and we look in this bridge right next one and we're going to find some rat poison and there we go so we're getting out of here with close to 15 lead so if we run right up the hill from where we're at uh, sort of to the northeast a little bit to cobbleton farm then what we're going to find here, we're going to find a decent amount of lead here. You'll have about four enemies to take out when you first roll up on it. But after you take them out, then come in here and get the tin cans. I always, I always lure them outside because if I come in here and start shooting, it knocks these cans all over the place and I have a hard time finding them. So some more cans here. So we're up to five, I believe, right here. Five. A little bit of some food here too. Um, some steel. I missed that can. That was six. Now seven, eight, plus a paint can. So that's thirteen. Plus rat poison. That's eighteen. Nineteen. And we get a few more over here. Plus a special can. So twenty. So we're over twenty lead now. So it's definitely worth showing up here. And there's some more tin. But right here you get the unrusted tin can. You only find these in two places that I know of, and that's uh, Treetop and here. Um, they may be some other places. I haven't noticed them there. Next, we're going to move on down to Hill Folk Hot Dogs. And this is one that's really quick and easy to get in, and you're going to come out of here with about, with about 23 lead, if I'm not mistaken. So when we first walk in, keep in mind there will be mole rats. There's two can chimes, nine lead each, and 18 steel each, as a matter of fact. And then over here on the table is rat poison. Kitchens, I've noticed on Fallout, the kitchen areas are always a good area to look for rat poison in, and tin cans a lot. And there's a one of the rare items, souvenir magnet cow. This is the only place I found that magnet cow. And next we're going to jump over here to the... Kanawha County Cemetery and there's a pretty good amount of lead over here but there are some enemies you're gonna have to take out so if we go east we're gonna head straight across the uh, graveyard here and to this little building that you see me running towards right here and in it we're gonna find some paint cans and we know that the paint cans are five lead each unless they're empty then that's just steel so paint paint and paint so that's 15 lead we've already got next I'm gonna run up here to the church but uh, I made the mistake this time of running into the church and fighting the enemies in there so I threw a few grenades and it's gonna make finding this lead a little harder but I'm gonna point out exactly where so I recommend luring the enemies outside and then coming in when you go directly to here to this bench there will be a rat poison there one and as you can see where everything's knocked around now up here on this little bench there will be two more rat poison but with the grenade I threw I'm gonna have to really search for these and there's one there's one rat poison and I don't I don't see the other one so I think I'm just gonna head up the stairs and go to the upstairs portion and once you get up here whoa whoa what is that that's the second rat poison that was on that bench down there the grenade blew it up here so that's three rat poisons we got from down there and over here we're gonna get two more next we're going to move to the green country lodge usually there will be mole rats here to, that you have to handle today it was those but uh, generally if you cut across that parking lot you're going to run across some mole rats that you have to take out but if you come on around to this area then there's a weight room over here and weights are an excellent source of lead I like the weights because you get so much lead in one place. You don't have to run across the whole area, you know, picking up everything. But also on the same hand, you know, we don't want to overlook our paint cans and our rat poison because that's just as much as uh, most of this lead is, or the weights. There we go. Get a bit of weights here. So, good bit. Let's get these. 
and a lot of the weights on the floor sometimes they're really hard to see you got to look around and make sure you don't miss any yeah now that people have come back to this area and looks good so now we're gonna head out of here and get back on the main road and head down into town here I'll take out a couple of enemies there but we're gonna see this house right here and at this house we're gonna pick up a little bit more lead but we're also going to be able to scrap what we've already got here. So, some blue paint, tin can, so that's six lead. And another, some more steel here. It's always good to have some steel. And another paint can. Next, we're heading to the Wayward. Now, a lot of people may not think about the Wayward as being a place to grab some lead. But if we go in here and we look, there's a, a decent amount of lead. For me, anything over 10, uh, especially anything over 12, because that's three batches of 45 ammo for me. And with my perks, I get 37 rounds per batch. There's a pencil. And so three batches at 37 rounds, that's over 100 rounds. So if I don't have to do much to get it, that's, that's a pretty good deal. Yellow paint, paint can. So now I'm up to 11, 12, 13. Right here, yeah, 13 lead so far. Okay. And a little bit of steel over here. Now it takes twice as much steel to make bullets than it does lead. So don't don't forget the steel when you're in these places. Now I'm going to go around behind the counter here and get another pencil. And that's going to give me, I believe, 14 here. And some more steel, as you can see. But then there's some rat poison down here. So that rat poison, if I can, if I can get it, 19. And going over here, there's some steel down there, 20. 21 lead and 22 lead so not bad for the wayward and since we're here i'm just going to jump over to the overseer's home this is a small hall here but this is an area that i know i come to almost every day for my daily quest photo opportunity good bit of steel in the kitchen up there but if we go down to the basement here then what we're going to see is it's going to have two makeshift batteries which are two lead each and a combination wrench and a couple of other things like stem packs and you know we can get some steel and some screws from that fan and the combination wrench is over here in this cabinet and there are other other things here that we can get and there's a scrapping bench right there so it's pretty handy Greg's mine supply there's a decent amount of lead here, but you have to run, you know, through the mine, basically, or run through the underground area. Now, that's the front door that's generally going to be locked. So, if you don't have the key, you're going to want to come around this way. So, I'm going to skirt the perimeter of this house, and behind it, I'm going to go into the basement. There'll be some stairs here, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to go into this basement. Now, here, uh, there's not a ton in this particular room, but... oh. There's a dead body there, and there's two cans. All right, so now I'm just going to go through the mine shaft here, and I'm actually underneath Greg's mine supply now. So I'm going to look in here, and I know there's a combination wrench on one of these, this table here. There's a scrap bench if I needed it. Some more steel, as we saw. So I'm going to come on up these stairs to the right, and in here, I'm going to find some gold scrap. I know we're not looking for gold. This is a lead run, but hey. Who passes up gold bars? All right. So as we come on around, we're gonna just keep coming around, and we're in the we're in the storefront now for Greg's Mine Supply. So we're gonna get a decent amount of cans right here, and also a paint can. And we can see over here we've got three cans. Yeah, if I can get them, yep, three cans there. I'm gonna run around to the front of this shelf right here. And there'll be a few more cans on these shelves. Right there, there, and then there's one right there. Alright, now I'm going to come over here and get a paint can. There's five more. A little bit of steel there if you want it. Two more cans. And there's one more somewhere right over here. Uh, and now there's at least one more. And there may be more. There it is. There it is. Let's now I'm going to come out, but I'm not going to leave the building. I'm going to take a left and go up these stairs. And up these stairs, I'm going to see another can. And two more cans right here. Right, now, for the last little part of this section, I'm going into this workshop here. And there will be a makeshift battery right back here. 
copper to more lead. So a pretty good haul. Um, a lot of other good stuff that we can get from here too. And scrap bench is close by, makes it easy. Another good haul is Horizon's Rest. And there's a lot of enemies here though. So you have to sort of weigh it out. Is it worth the run or not? If you're using melee, a melee build is definitely worth the run if you can get over here and take these out. But you may expend a lot of ammo with all these super mutants and mutant hounds you're going to run across here. You're probably going to hit about 10 of them, I believe. Starting here, once we get up here, we got a tin can. We go on into the structure here, and there's another one right in front of us. There it is. Now, if we go up these steps, we'll get another tin can here. Back down, and I'm going to go around to the right here. And this is like a kitchen area, and we know that kitchen areas are a good place to find some lead items. So, got three more cans right here. So far, we're looking at six cans. And there's another one, seven. And we got a couple more right there. Eight, nine, and there's ten, eleven, and twelve. So as we come on around, there's another one. I missed it, so that would be thirteen. And we come up this way. And up these stairs right here is where you find the jail cell key. So, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get this pencil. So I think that makes 14. Now, we're going to get more over this way. So I'm going to go down and cross over. And I'm going to go up their little area here. Not in the first structure, but in the second here. We're going to find some paint cans. So here we got one, two, three. So that's 15. So that's around 29 lead I think we got so far out of here. If we go over here, there's one more, and it's right here. Tigart Water Treatment. Now, this may not seem like a great place for lead, but once again, it's one of those you're going to get between 20 and 30, so it's worth the effort if you're in the area. I'm just going to jump up here on the back side, and I'm going to go up here, and there'll be a paint can right here. And there will be an aluminum or tin can, yeah, aluminum can there. And I'm just going to go back over here, you know, where we turn in our daily ecological balance quest at. And if you haven't noticed before, there's a couple of weights right beside this uh, this barrel right here. So that's 220 pounds. So that's 10 more. So I already got like 16 lead there. And going in, there's a little bit more in here. Not much, but a little bit. 17, 18, and the combination wrench makes 20. All right, so now I'm going to cut back across the map going to Camden Park. I think a lot of people may be familiar with this because uh, one of the first areas that we went to also. And in here, you got the can chimes. I love these can chimes. Nine lead per chime, plus 18 steel for most of them. So I already got 18 lead. There's two more here, so that makes 36 lead. And there will be some scorched here. We know that they like to hang out at this amusement park for some reason. All right, take these guys out, and I'm going to grab all their stuff because there's a scrap bench over here, and I want that steel. All right, now there's two more can chimes right here, but we don't want to stop here. We want to come back in and scrap this area because you're going to get a lot of valuable scrap from here. You're going to get uh, five, six more lead, but you're also going to get a lot of ammo and a lot of steel, some food, the possibility of a bobblehead and a magazine here, some bobby pins maybe. But over in this area is where you'll find the bobblehead and magazine if it's there at that particular time. I notice like every other day I run across those two items. Not every day. We scratch 59 lead from this one location. So a pretty good haul here. Next, we're going to go to another familiar location, Charleston Fire Department. And this is a really good haul. They, these guys have a lot of weights in here. So we're going to pour it in here and we're just going to run around. And we'll make our way to the front. On public servers, it's hard to find this lead because as soon as people log in, this is one of the first places they go to gather up some lead, so it's really hard to find. Private server may be your best option. But as we go in here, we're going to see multiple weights. There's a lot of weights in this room. Um, I think you're going to end up with close to a uh, close to 100 lead when you get done with all these. Maybe not quite that, but I mean, it's going to be a decent amount. I would have to actually count it up. 
But we're going to leave out of there and we're going to head north. North towards Charleston. And right here at the river, or what was the river, we're going to find Nash. His little hideout. We're right here. And this is not a, not a huge haul either. But the thing is, we're close by. And I can run over here in just a second and get me some lead and steel. Among some, uh, he tends to have a lot of chems here too. So if, you, if you're into chems, then this is a good place to go. Here we go. All right, now we're going to move over to a really good area. We hit four locations at once, and we start with the kill box. I, I like to use my sneak perks and just sneak in here and get this lead because you can sneak in here and get it pretty easy. Otherwise, you're fighting 10, 15 blood eagles, so you know, you're going to expend a lot of ammunition. Generally, I'll sneak and grab this lead right here. There we go. All right, and once I get it, I'm going to come out, and I'm going to run right across here to Hornwright Summer Villa. This is a good location. And you're going to get a little bit of lead on the inside here. Um, so let's start off by running down. And we're going to go into this, this entrance. And we're just going to jump down to the basement here. There's one of the uh, dead bodies. All right. And we're going to get a makeshift battery here. And we're also going to find us a combination wrench or somewhere or another. It is probably hanging up on the board, and there it is. There it is. Combination wrench, uh, along with a couple of other items. Some duct tape. I'll take that. I'll take all that. All right. And then we come out, and we go into the back here. In the backyard, this is another hit and miss. It's a toolbox, so it may be here. It may not be. It's like every other time I'll have some uh, combination wrenches in this toolbox. Sometimes one, sometimes two, sometimes other items too. But if I come on back around, and go to this workshop in front of the house, then I'm gonna find a couple more cans here. And as I look around, there'll be another pegboard here and I'll get me a couple more combination wrenches. So it's starting to add up now. All right. Other stuff too. Now there's two lead cans in front of that car I forgot to get, 10 cans. All right, upstairs there's another here, some more steel, a couple other items. But right behind me here is uh, probably the biggest part of this haul, and we're going to find four more rat poison. So that's 20 lead right there. That's worth coming here even if you don't bother getting the other stuff. So combination wrench. So we're looking at, you know, I done got you know, a decent amount of lead here. Some steel scrap and all in the same room, but there's also going to be another toy. It'll either be a baby rattle or a toy truck. So depending on your luck, you're going to get one of the two. Now I'm going to run right across the street here. We're going to go to Overlook Cabin. This is directly across the street from where we're at right now. So when I turn around, I'm just going to run down here. Now beware, there are a decent amount of enemies scorched in here. And sometimes they'll ambush you. There'll be like 30 as soon as you walk in the door. That happened to me the other day. All right, some tin cans. But in the back room here, we find a good start on our lid. Some tin cans. And we're going to see combination wrench here. All right. A little bit of steel and some duct tape if you need it. I always need duct tape. Combination wrench is usually there, but you, you can never make a guarantee with those tool cases and toolboxes. Over here, we're going to find some more tin cans and, you know, other stuff too. All right. But more combination wrench up here. It's going to be there. All right. And then, you know, other items that you may need. So now I'm going to run back up the stairs, out of here, and to the main floor. And now I'm going to go up to the second floor and take a left coming off these stairs. And there's going to be a lot of toys in this room. And each one of these toys contain one lead. So as I go over here, um, I'm going to end up picking up about 15 or more in this room. So we're coming out of here with a good 25 maybe lead, something like that. It's worth the time considering it's right across the street from where we were just at and right up the road from the Blood Eagles location. All right, now, usually if you walk out the room and look behind this radiator, it's like every other time I come here, I'll find a magazine. All right, so now we're going to come back to this Torrance house. I probably should have went here as soon as I left the kill box, but I had to circle back in here. And this one isn't a big one. We're going to get 10 lead here, but it's up there. It's up there on the roof. So if you can jump up there with marsupial or use your jetpack, it'll save you a little time. But if you don't, then you can come around this way. But keep in mind, coming around this way, most of the time you're going to fight at least one enemy. No big deal usually. It's just going to be an eye bot and sometimes a protectron up here, which 
protectrons, you know, usually leave you some lead scrap, so that's not a bad thing. But around here, we're going to see these two bodies, or skeletons. Looks like they have on a wedding dress and a tuxedo. But you have your ten blocks right here, and if you look at these, it actually spells something out. Let's look at these. It says, Hubba Hubba. Hubba Hubba. Alright. Yeah. Okay, Bethesda. Uh, so I'm just going to take all these. That's 10 more lead right there. So that was a pretty good haul hitting all four of those places at once. So it doesn't take long. Next, we're going to move on over to Helvetia. And we know Helvetia. This is where the Fosnot Parade is. And uh, if you're on the south side of the town, then there's going to be this building right here. It's across from the main part of town, as you can see over there. There's not a ton in here, but it's worth coming, especially combining it with the next building that we go to. So we're going to hit two houses here. This is the first one. Going to run up here. And in the kitchen, once again, we're going to find a couple of pencils and some rat poison. So there's six, seven lead right there. And, you know, a little bit more up here. Some steel, some chems, a scorched. And he's got an empty paint can. Why is he walking around with an empty paint can? All right. We got right here a couple of chems, you know, mintats, so we can think clearly. And then a couple of pencils right here. So we're up to nine lead in this little area, along with some other valuable scrap, you know, if you want to scrap it all. I do. I scrap it all. But leaving out of here, we're just going to go, here's where it's at, look, right there. We're just going to go back into the town right here. And to my left, this is the building I want to go in. And when we go in here, there will be a few scorched, uh, most likely. I uh, usually run across them here. And we take them out. Now, we go behind the desk on the bottom floor here. And there will be two more pencils here. So now we're up to 11 for this little location. And if we run upstairs, there's going to be some pretty good items to scrap and all up there. But you're going to start running across. Here's another pencil. So I think that makes 12, and then this toy ship makes 13, and there's a pencil over here in this corner that makes 14. And in here, if you notice up on the shelves right there and in the floor, there's about 15 or 16 more cans. So we're going to end up with 30 lead, or more, and plus some steel that we can get from right here. Now I'm going to just grab all these up. There's a decent amount of them here. I guess they're collecting 10 cans. Get all of them. And there's some on the floor too, but um, I guess I was in a big hurry and I forgot to pick them up here. Next, we're moving to the sludge works. And as you can see, it didn't work out so well for me the first time. So I'm going to go back in. And usually I sneak in here and I jump over the wall and go straight to the lead, grab it, and jump out. Unless I just feel like fighting them. And today, though, we're going to come in through the front here. I've already took out the enemies now. And walk up this way until you see right here. And if you look up, you see that sign. Once you see that sign and that cage up there, the weights are directly below it. And there's a scrap bench right beside it. So this is a pretty decent haul also. Definitely worth a trip down here, at least in my opinion. Because by the time you take out the enemies, if you sneak in... It's a good little haul. If you come in and you take out the enemies, then you're going to get a lot of other scrap, too. Next, we're going to head over here to Summersville. And we can get a decent little bit of lead from here, from the first house that we see when we first come into Summersville. Now, there will be mire lurks here that we have to take out, but um, not too many of them. I think there's about four, maybe five. But if we run to the back of the house, or you could come in through the front and come in this way, to start off with, we're going to find a pencil right here, and that's one. So we're going to take the vault tech coffee cup also, and a toy truck. So that's two lead. Now, we're not going to walk out of here with a ton of lead, but we do walk out of here with a decent amount considering how easy it is to get here and get out with it. As we look on over here, we see a little bit of stuff, and but right over here, we have some rat poison. And if we take a ride into the room here, we're going to find a lead pipe, combination wrench, another combination wrench, 
and over on this desk to the right will be another pencil. So we're getting out of here with 13 or 14 lead, which is not a bad deal. There's a lot of steel here you can scrap too. Next, we're going over to the White Springs Golf Club. Now, this is one I do try to hit and get out of here unless I'm just uh, wanting to take on some enemies today. You're going to find a can chime on the first door here. And then you're going to find three more can chimes here. So that's a, that's a pretty good bit right there. So that's four total. But if we look at the room here and look at the other side, we're going to find a couple more pieces of lead. We're going to have a wood block and a baby rattle. So that gives us two more lead there. Now if we go out of here and go over to the swimming pool, swimming pool area, then we're going to find a couple more if we uh, just sort of navigate to this side here. We're going to find a couple more blocks, a, another baby rattle, and then around to the front. We're going to run up this way and we're going to find us a, another baby rattle here. So that's a decent bit of lead for that one little area without many enemies to have to take out. Now if we go behind White Springs to the White Springs Fire Department, we're going to find just a little bit more lead, but since we're in the area, it only makes sense to go ahead and stop by here. And this is exactly where it's at, as you can see White Springs there, the small green building. And all the way in the back of this building, there'll be a room back here, and in this room is going to be a 20 pound dumbbell for five more lead for us. Now, since we're in the area, safe and clean disposal is just right up the road from where we're at. We don't even have to fast travel, we can run up there. There will be some floaters here that you have to take out, but there's also a, a decent amount of lead considering it's really close by anyway. Here we have a tin can, can, another can, and then one of the clean coffee tins. Not so easy to find, but really not that hard to find anymore these days. And here we have another aluminum can. An empty paint can there. So there is some scrap. And there's a scrap bench behind this building for you to scrap all the stuff that we just picked up if you need to. And over here we're going to have four more cans on this shelf. Four, three, and there's the fourth one. And then there's one to our left right beside us right here all right there we go and one more here to make an even 10 Hornwright Estate I think everybody has been to Hornwright Estate and has uh, seen the little gem they got up there but it is definitely a good a good place to get a decent amount of weights So we just take the elevator up the stairs and we come out of the elevator. Either one of those stairs right there to the left or right we could take and it's going to take us to right here. And we want to go into this room right here. Now in here, first thing I'm going to find is some buff out. I take buff out all the time. Buff out and whiskey. Helps my carry weight. Alright, so I'm going to take out these little annoying rad roaches. And now I'm just going to grab up the, the weights here. There's a decent amount here. A decent amount. And if you have the time and if you want, you know, you can scrap the rest of the area. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good scrap here at Horn Rat. A lot of steel you'll find in the kitchen areas. Alright. And there we go. That's pretty much it for this aspect of it. So next, we're going to move on over to West Tech. The West Tech Research Center. And there's a lot of super mutants here. I will generally try to sneak by them and just run in and grab my leg. But today I took him out because I uh, took out this legendary. I want to see what he's got on him. See what I can get. And wow. A Berserker's Pickaxe. Man, that's exactly what I've been searching for the 600 hours I've been on Fallout. Alright, well let's just go around here and get some paint cans then. All right. We can see that there's a super mutant up here, and there's usually going to be a mutant hound over here, and there's usually going to be a machine gun turret to my left that I've already shot it, so keep that in mind. I'm just going to jump up here to the roof. A lot of good scrap. You get a lot of good scrap off these super mutants. That's one of the things I do like about fighting them, is you get a, a ton of uh, weapons from them that you can scrap or sell. Now, if we jump over this right here, on this bottom or this section, there's going to be one paint can plus a couple other things. There's some food items over here, a hat, a prospector's hat if you want to 
you know, if that's your thing. All right. Uh, but other than that, not a, not a lot here. So we want to jump on over this wall. And here we're going to get multiple paint cans, as you can see. Multiple paint cans, every one being five each, except for the empties. Those are just steel, but that's still handy. As we go up here, jump up here, we're going to see one of the, I guess you say, rare items in the game. In addition to the scrap we get up here, the paint cans, and you know me, I pick everything up, paint cans. But there's a perfectly preserved pie. I don't think it's so rare anymore, considering I can come here every day and get one of these. And I actually did for a little while, and then got to where I had so many of them, I just started eating them. The monorail elevator. This is a good one because there's no enemies, there's nothing difficult to deal with, and you get a pretty good lead haul, and there's also some cement up here too if you need it. So I'm just going to take the elevator right here and go up. But a, a word of advice though, be careful jumping off of it. I've died every time but one I did that. And that's even with the goat legs perk and fall, reduction, fall damage reduction armor, so... Just gonna come out. I'm gonna come up these steps right here, and as soon as we come up the steps, we're gonna see the monorail, you know, the big area right here. That's where the weights are, but I'm gonna come on over here real quick first. And there's some scrap items over here, but there's also a tin can here, or aluminum can, and some tokens. So there's an all star basketball there, you know, good little items. I like to display a lot in my camp, so I pick up stuff like that. Now here's some uh, weights, a good amount of weights up here you're going to get, uh, all 25 pounds. And you get some more over here, and those are all five each if I'm not mistaken, five lead each. And I actually, look at there, I'm just missing them two on the ground, oh well. Now over here we got some, uh, you know, some cement, and also several more weights. So after I pick all these up, I'm going to end up with, you know, a, a decent amount of lead coming out of this one little area. Some of them are hard to see. I recommend coming during the day. It's hard to see these at night in this area. So there we go there. Next, we're going to move on over to Watoga High School. Watoga High School is a decent place to get lead. You will encounter some robot enemies in there. No matter whether you're friendly with the robots in the city, if you've done the mayor for a day and you know that quest line and you're friendly with the robots in the city, they're still going to attack in here. So, two ways to approach it. One is to come in and just take them out. The other way is to, you know, sneak in. I've snuck in here and got by all of them without having to engage any, but most of the time I just take them out. I think you're going to encounter like five or six. You're going to have some Protectrons, you're going to have a couple I-Bots, and a couple Sentry Bots. But if you keep going this way, and just move on around this broken area up here, and go into the art room. In the art room, there's going to be multiple paint cans in here. I mean, it's definitely worth coming here. And uh, as you can see, uh, there's the empty. That's steel, so that's still good for me. And then you got a couple more paint cans there. You got a couple more here. And there's actually a couple behind me that I, I noticed I overlooked here. So here, but check behind you too, to my left there. And you'll get a couple more. We're going to go to the Eastern Regional Penitentiary, and there's a lot of lead here. And this is one that I do always take out, all the enemies. I mean, you can get in here, grab the lead, and run, but these enemies, they're super mutants, and there's quite a bit of them, but they have a lot of caps on them. They have a, a lot of good scrappable items on them. And when you first come in, you're going to see a couple of tin can chimes here, and there's going to be a lot of super mutants. As you can see, there are corpses on the ground there. Now, if I move on around this way, and this one, I'm going to have another can chime. So, I've already got 27 lead right there. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to go inside the penitentiary in this video, but there's, I believe, six more can chimes in there at the very minimum, plus uh, uh, some more lead. So, you can clear a lot more by going in there. I do it, but I, I didn't put that in the video, so just keep that in mind. I'm going to get all these. All these are right here, and I apologize for the quality. I don't know why some of my clips, uh, the quality is terrible, and some it's clear as a bell. But I'm trying to get that all straightened out, you know. Now in here, you're gonna you're gonna find a couple more items. Not over here, but there's some good steel over there. But right here, you're gonna get a paint can and, and an empty. And right here, 
get some more steel items if you want them but there's a makeshift battery right there so that's two more lead and that's an empty I believe yeah it's empty but still there's a scrap bench in here so to your left right here there's usually four or five items that you can scrap for steel right here and then you're gonna have another paint can here and then some empty paint cans as you can see and there's usually a combination wrench somewhere right over here not always but usually there's one right over there so now I'm just gonna go scrap these next we're gonna move on up to Clarksburg and in Clarksburg if we could first come in don't make the mistake I did I, I came in here and shot up the place uh, should have drew the enemies out a little more so it made things a little harder to find but coming into the hardware store right here normally all these cans are gonna be on the shelf up there but like I said my fault I shot up the place and they went flying over everywhere now the first ones on this left hand side are all gonna be empties there is a scrap bench downstairs that you can scrap these at so you know it's worth picking them up to get the steel but over here is where you're gonna find you know somebody shooting at me where is he uh, okay then all right you're gonna uh, find several paint cans right here as we can see it's a little bit of duct tape too, some other stuff but I'm thinking we're gonna total with five paint cans out of here which is 25 lead so it's worth the effort and there's some toilet paper all right so if we come out of there and go to the left though there's another paint can up here and, and if you really search this town you know you're gonna find a couple more items here and there but these are the ones that I find easy to get in and out and get if I come around here to the left no not in there let's go around the building to the left and behind the building I'm gonna see if I look here I'm gonna see a stair set of stairs so I'm just gonna go up these all the way to the top and since I'm here it's worth coming over here and using a few rounds to take this guy out and get me another paint can that's worth five lead which for me is an easy 37 rounds of 45 ammo so there's an empty there and here we have the paint can and a bobby pin box so I'm gonna get them both next we're gonna move on over here to the black bear lodge the black bear lodge uh, there'll be a few enemies it's not usually gonna be overwhelming or anything but as we come in here we pour it in here unless you've already cleared it you know there's gonna be a couple here and there to take out so I'm gonna take these out Now once you take out the enemies, then we're just going to go into right here in between this broken area and there will be a doorway. And I'm going to start off by going downstairs here, some lead down here. There will be an enemy down here. So I'm going to get a paint can and two aluminum cans right there. So starting off with seven lead in this area. And I'm going to take this guy out. And you can scrap this area. There's a lot of good scrap around this area. And there's scrap benches here but that's the only lead I believe in, in this downstairs area so I'm gonna go back up here but I'm gonna go into the kitchen right here remember the kitchens for some reason rat poisons big in these kitchens so here's a rat poison there I'm gonna go ahead and take that stuff too here another can and a couple more cans right here there's one right there but I noticed I missed there's two cans right beside that steel pot on the stove also so don't forget those and done there so next we're gonna move right on over here right here at the Pioneer Scout lookout tower there usually be some enemies down here and it's up to you if you take them out or not you can make your way up through there without taking them out if you're quick about it and we're gonna get 10 lead up here actually a little bit more now in this first room, there's a couple items that are worth scrapping. You know, uh, some ammo and all that up there. You're gonna find a note here and some grenades on him. But here we get a paint can and an empty and some wonder glue. And there's a can down here. And there may be two, I don't remember, two cans down here. All right, now as I roll around the outside here, it's going around here. I'm gonna find another paint can right around here right there next we're going to Ingram Mansion and the main reason I'm gonna stop here is because it's on my way to the next location uh, this one we're just gonna find about 10 lead but if we come in and skirt the perimeter around to the left and we follow this route 
then we're going to come up on these tents and we'll go around the tents and we'll see a workbench to our right right here and beside that workbench in that little plastic tote is a paint can now as we come on around we run around to the back and take the stairs or jump up and we'll find an empty plus a full paint can next we're going to move over here to monongah mine not going in the mine we're just going to look in these buildings out here and you can get a pretty good amount of lead here there will be a few mole miners but it's not overwhelming or anything there's really only a few take out the first couple of ones now over here you're going to end up getting some rat poison as we can see right there some rat poison and keep an eye for enemies because there are some here and then we're going to get well i got a broom didn't really need it but yellow paint paint can and i believe that's an empty paint can yeah that's an empty paint can so 15 lead already not not a bad haul let's take him out all right there comes another one uh -huh. All right, let's go ahead and get this stuff and then I'll go out there and get him. All right, so a makeshift battery. So now we're looking at like uh, about 17 lead, I believe we already got here, just from this one little building. I know he's out there. There he is. Take that. Right. And you can scrap these guys too. You know, the mole miners, they always got a lot of stuff on them. Right, so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna find some more rat poison right here. And get that rat poison. There's a tin can down there, and you see all the steel that's laying around too. You know, definitely worth getting. But I'm just gonna look for lead right now. And I think, yep, there's another another can right there. So we're doing pretty good. So I'm gonna just go around. I'm gonna skip that one because there's nothing there. But I'm gonna go into this little trailer, and in this little trailer, I find some more rat poison. Right there. Another can right here, and in this corner, multiple cans. All right. So now I'm going to come out of here, and stay to my left, and go into this torn down building, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to find a blue paint, and there's uh, nothing in here. So I'm going to, I don't think. All right. So I'm going to come back out here and what I will see here is I know there's some more rat poison or some more cans in here and there it is there's some more rat poison some cans some purified water dog food but also we got three cans up there too as we see next we're going to the palace of the winding path and this one has a decent amount of lead uh, there's also some lead uh, we know that there's a weight room in here a very small weight room but there's a little bit more downstairs too, so we're going to check that out. You can scrap the whole place. You're going to end up with a lot of steel, uh, a lot of plastic and ceramic and stuff like that. And a decent amount of lead that we're going to see right here. So let's go in here. You go in and you take this employees only entrance. Uh, there will be a couple of three scorched in here, minimum three scorched. Um, and you can loot those for a couple stem packs and a couple caps and a couple weapons you can scrap. But over here is some dumbbells again. It's not a huge take here, but if I'm in the neighborhood, it's definitely worth a stop by. And usually you'll have a cap stash up here. And there we go, 20. All right. So now let's go on around. And down here, there's going to be a couple of enemies. But as you can see, I already took them out. And one of them is a boss, so he has a lot of loot on him. Check it out. As we come through here, there will be an enemy to your right, followed by another enemy to your right, and one downstairs. But as we come downstairs here, you can loot that room too if you want. There'll be a fusion core right there, microscope, some steel, and some gears, I believe, and some rat poison. So five more lead with that rat poison. That's a nice addition to uh, the weights that we just picked up. But I'm going to head right on back here. And I'm going to scrap all of this at the set of scrap benches that are back here. Next, I'm going to Sunny Top Ski Lanes. And here, this is one of those you sort of question, is it worth it or not? I try to sneak in here unless I just feel like, you know, taking on the super mutants. Because it, I expend a decent amount of lead taking all of them out. Uh, and what we end up getting here is four can chimes. There's three as you enter right here. 
So, I mean, four can chimes, that's nothing to laugh at. That's 36, you know. And that's nine batches of ammo for me, so that's quite a bit. So I do like to come here, but a lot of times I will just approach it from the opposite direction, from the south, and just sneak in here and grab these and just hit the road and go do whatever quest I'm, you know, needing to do that day. All right. But now we go on around, and we make our way all the way to the downstairs right here. Make our way to this area, and what you're going to see is this downstairs basement here. And in this downstairs basement, we have another can chime. Dolly Sod's Wilderness. Now, I like this one because there's three things I can do at once in this one area, and it does add up. When I first come in here, I'm going to go to the right, and I'm going to find some paint cans. And as you can see, I got some toys right there, and some tin cans, and a combination wrench. Now, that's a regular wrench. I forgot the toys, but there's more rat poison right there. I missed them toys. And if we look on over here, you got some bears if you like bears. And I'm going to go to the right and go into this room right here. And there's another rat poison. So we got, you know, a decent little take. Uh, you know that whenever you come to Dolly Sod, you're going to have that Yao Guai out front. So just be aware of that. All right, now I'm going to move down to the campground. And I'm going to move down to the campground. Since we are right here, it doesn't hurt to think about taking that campground and putting an extractor on that lead. Or, you know, it, it'll it's only extra lead. It's not going to hurt you. So there's another Yagua. Got him. And we're just going to run and follow this path until we get to the campground itself. Now, keep on going. Now, once we're in the campground or in this area, and we see the workshop bench there, we take a hard left and head straight down here. Now, there's going to be enemies down here, too, so keep that in mind. And here, I've got a gulper. Got a gulper. And take him out, see what he's got. I'm going to take his stuff. And we have our lead deposit. Okay. So, you know, that's that's good. Now, if I cut back over to Dolly Sods here and run past the front of Dolly Sods, I'm going to take this left or just basically follow the trail here, the road. And in front of this house right here, there's going to be another paint can. And since I'm right here, it's worth grabbing that five lead. You'll have an empty and a regular paint can. So five more lead right there. But you're going to have some dogs and stuff like that to fight up here. So just keep that in mind. Next, we're going to move to the NAR repair yard. And this is also... Uh, this is a good place to get some lead, and there's a couple of other places that aren't on the map that we're going to hit all in succession here. All right, so coming in here, first thing I'm going to find is a paint can, another paint can. So I done cleared 10 lead right there. There's 11. All right, there's a lot of good scrap in here, and as you saw down there, there was a battery. So that was uh, 13 lead. I'm going to come out to the left. And as I come out to the left, I'm going to see this house. But to the slight right of this house, if I look right straight in front of me here, I'm going to see this little shack. Now, this little shack is going to have some paint cans in it. So, let's see how many we got here. We got one, two, and an empty. So, not bad considering we hit both of those locations at the same time. Now, directly below where we were to the south is the lost home. This is not a big one. But we need to go here so that we can find the next place we're going to. When I go to the lost home, I'm going to stay to the left. And on the east side, as we can see here. Now, beside here, behind this guy, if you knock him out of the way, you're going to find a paint can. But also, a lot of times here, you'll find a bobblehead, too. So keep that in mind. You know, you do have that possibility. But that's all this here is one paint can and then a couple steel. You do have, you know, your, uh, your chems there. But now, if we head directly east... Of this place directly east in between here right ab right about where you see the cursor we're gonna head straight east right here and I can use if I look ahead of me here to the right a little bit I'll see a house with a grain silo and a water tower out there you can see that red water tower I use that as reference and I just run straight towards it and there's a lot of mole rats out here so remember that and there we go there we see the grain silo we just passed the water tower some mole rats these guys are annoying sometimes. All right, so now I'm just gonna keep keep heading that direction until I see this little shack, not that one. I'm checking for mole rats. Right here, this little shack. There's some mole rats. All right. Hopefully that's all of them. 
let's take that meat that's 10 carry weight we're right here this is exactly where we're at we're halfway in between sunrise field and the lost home so if I go in this shack then I'm gonna find a little bit more lead or you know all right, paint can paint can and an empty and then I got three cans right here and it's convenient that I have a scrap bench right here that I can scrap all of that lead that I just picked up in this little circle that we just did right here in this area so from there we're gonna head to RNG station RNG station is uh, got some we're gonna find us a decent little bit of lead here but I'm just gonna go around to the back I'm not gonna bother with anything but going around to the back if I'm in the area this is worth it but there's also a rare item too here so see if you can find the rare item but we got our two paint cans right there and if we go in here we got a battery next we're gonna head on over to vault tech university now i believe most people are familiar with vault tech university we've we've been there and there are two weight rooms in here so we're gonna hit both of those weight rooms just by going in now keep in mind you know there there may be a little bit more lead in here we're gonna see in the second when we head toward the second weight room we end up finding a little bit a little bit extra is what i call it like off of our enemies all right so i'm just gonna take these guys out and Head down this hallway right here. And heading down the hallway, I want to take the last door on the left. The last door on the left will take me into this, looks like a classroom slash weight room area. And in here, if I look around enough, I'm gonna find some lead weights. And they're gonna be on this side of the room. There's some, as you can see, there's several on the floor down there. Pick all these up. Not a huge haul, but when we combine it with what we're going to get from the other side of uh, Vault Tech University, then it adds up pretty good. If you've got the Ammo Smith perk and if you have your legendary perks for the Ammunition Factory legendary perk, then you know it's worth picking up small amounts of lead because you can make so much more ammunition. For example, four pieces of lead along with 10 pieces of steel and one gunpowder makes me 37 rounds of 45 ammo so it, it's worth every little bit i get as we come in here um we're gonna have some enemies and don't forget most of these enemies in here are gonna have lead scrap on them so you're gonna get a lot of extra lead just off the enemies but if i come on around this way and i'm gonna go through this door and going down a set of gonna go this way and going down a set of stairs here I'm gonna come to another door and when I open it I'm gonna go in and go to another door here as we've seen because I, I know everybody's probably been down here and I'm gonna go down some more stairs some more stairs and some more stairs and now we're near the bottom once I go through this area here then we're gonna be here in this atrium type of area and right down here to our right is the weights um, you can also pick up a vault tech university jumpsuit or you know but there's a few weights down here not a ton but you know every little bit counts ne next we're going to move over to camp venture this is not a huge haul but one of the reasons i like coming here is because you got a lot of enemies um that you're going to get a lot of scrap off of and if you go into some of the buildings like the one to my right there you're going to get a lot of good scrap there it's definitely worth the haul but i just want to look at where the weights are in this one to just show you where the weights are so we come up here um, go in here and there's always going to be a legendary enemy here too so this it's a good good way to get you some items you can sell for scrip and stuff or use if you need them a couple of weights right here like i said this is not the biggest haul there is one of the smaller ones and another weight right here but by the time you take out the enemies to get here, you're going to have a pretty good bit of uh, scrap and even a little bit more lead. There's some more in that building. Side Alpha. This is a great place to get lead. You get it off the enemies and you get it from the weight room. The Side Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, these are identical. The difference is the entry points like we see right here at Alpha. We're here next to this lake. We've got to see Yao Guai over there. I'm just going to leave him alone. And I'm just going to go on in here. And here... You can get a little scrap from some of these boxes, not a ton, you know, it may not even be worth some people bothering, but here you can see I got some caps and some duct tape. 
And it doesn't really matter how much I pick up because by the time I get downstairs and get these weights or get down the elevator, I'm going to be over encumbered anyway. So I might as well pick up everything I can. All right. Now keep in mind, if you didn't know it, you already have to have completed the Enclave. You have to be a general and have, you know, the ability to get down here. All right. But once you go down here, you're going to find the weight room. It's pretty much just straight from the elevator. And this has a lot of weights in it. They have a pretty good amount of weights down here. I wish you could get the ones off the benches too. That would add up to even more, but uh, you just can't. Some benches you can, some you can't. Right. And as we can see here, there's a, there's a decent amount of weights and there's some under this table too. Don't forget those. And now we just make our way out the same way we came down. Site Bravo, you're gonna see that this is exactly the same. The layout's identical for this part of it, except for the entry point entry point we come up here but if you look around the entry point you're going to get some extra lead up here and a little bit in that overseer's cache there but look to my right you see them two lead and you got two paint cans right there so that's 10 lead before i even start all right i'm going to go on downstairs and what we're going to see here it's pretty much identical to what we did inside alpha we're going to take the same path just straight on to the back and get our weights up they're going to be in very similar locations. From time to time, they'll be slightly different, but they're usually in about the same location every time. All right, and there's your biometric key card. You can get these lead weights here. Site Charlie. Site Charlie is a little different on the entry point. You're going to have a legendary here. As you can see, that legendary that was on the ground, I'm, I generally run across one here. I'm not going to say you always do. But if we make our way around back, we also want to remember that we can get some lead before we get in here. And it's going to be, if we go in this way right here, you're going to have some enemies here. And to my right, if I look to my right, there's the elevator to get down. But if I go in this room, then I'm going to get a little bit. You know, it's worth coming here. Got some yellow paint and a tin can. So I'm starting off with six lead right now. And I'm just going to make my way back on over to the elevator after I get this junk and take it down. And what we're going to see, I'm sure to anybody that's uh, launched a nuke has seen that these, you know, are pretty much the same on the inside. So I'm going to come down here, follow the same path I took in the other two, and I'm going to have some more weights. And they're going to be the same place, same layout, basically, same amount. And you do clear a lot coming out of here. That's that's a lot of lead that we're getting right there, especially if you count in factoring the enemies. Pleasant Valley Ski Resort. This is a really good place too. Um, it may not be thought of as a lead farming area, but when you come in, you're gonna run across some scorched, but they're not too easy to take out if you got a good weapon. And I'm gonna take, yeah, I think I got, yeah, one behind me here. I took most of them out, but he's there, got him. And now you got these three ones hanging here. You don't have to jump, you just have to point at them, basically. It helps to be in third person when you're getting these, or at least it does me. And I'm gonna get these three. So we've already got 27 lead right there. All right, and then we're just gonna run west here and just keep going across the main, you know, the main section right here until we get to the end. Huh? Thought I heard something. Until we get to the end and we're gonna see three more can chimes right here this isn't it though so already we've got what 54 lead I mean that's a pretty good haul right there on its own but if we there will be some enemies but if we go to the right right here you're gonna see some rat poison five more lead and several combination wrenches over here so if we look down there I got one combination wrench another combination wrench just and then another combination so that's six more that's 11 more lead in this one little room here and some other stuff too you know some other good stuff so pretty good haul from that little area next we're going to graft and steel now graft and steel the only reason i'm just going here is because uh, i've had some people say not many but i've heard some people say that they uh couldn't find the lead here so i'm just going to look at where it's at it's actually pretty easy to find um sure most people have found it but i just wanted to include it in so if we go around here, I'm gonna just take these guys out. And this is one of those that's not worth coming to unless you're planning on, on actually taking the workshop because you're gonna fight a lot of enemies just to go over here and get a little bit of lead ore. Right. 
So if I do that, take them out. Now they're going to have some scrap on them. And, uh, still got enemies, so I don't think I can claim the workshop yet. Let's look. Nah, enemies. So there's a, there's a lot of good resources here, though. It's worth taking if you have the time and patience. It's, there's a lot of enemies you have to take out here. All right, so if we go over this way, let's get him. Right here is your lead. Lead ore. And you're going to get at least uh, three or four out of that. So you're going to be able to make some lead scrap there. So it's not it's not a bad idea to stop here, especially if you're doing the uh, manhunt on the dam right behind us there. So it's worth jumping over here and grabbing that lead. Another easy, easy lead ore grab is over here at Poseidon. Now if we go over here, it's going to be right off the main road right here. Um, we don't even have to fight any enemies, and we can jump in here and grab some lead and aluminum. And if you want to take the place, you know, of course, you can have an extractor right here and grab these deposits and, and make yourself some lead scrap. But if I'm in the area, I'm always going to swing right over here and just grab that lead. And if I look right here, I got some aluminum too. So not exactly a lead run, more of a lead ore grab. Next, I'm going to go over to the Berkeley Springs workshop, and we're going to look at where the lead is there, okay? Another one that if I'm in the neighborhood, it's worth grabbing. Um, this workshop, I, I don't claim it that often. Sometimes I will, but there's the lead. There's some enemies. There's the lead right there. I'm going to grab it. I'm just going to get on out of here. The Converted Munitions Factory is another lead ore place, but there's also a decent amount of lead to be had here. And not to mention, it's an ammo factory. I do try to take this one um, as often as I can especially when I'm on a private server just doing my lead runs and acid runs and stuff. So I, I will always take this on a private server. Now on a public server, you're going to have to defend it a lot because uh, other people are going to try and come and take it, which you know is understandable. You can produce ammunition here. You have aluminum, silver, lead, and a junk pile out back. And there's where your aluminum is. Now I cleared this out, and for some reason it did not save for me to upload the footage. That's where your lead ore is right there. So I'm going to show you where the paint cans are in here. Even though they're not actually going to be there, I'm going to point out exactly where they are. So if you go in the front right here, one of the things that I always do for some reason is I'll shoot this door. And take it out. And there's going to be some ammo in here. No lead, just some ammo. Just showing, you know, just looking. But if I come this way and I stay to the left, stay to the left and I sort of skirt the wall to the left, I'm going to go into this little opening, and behind me here, I'm going to have a empty paint can and a full paint can. So I'm going to get some lead there, and then I'm going to keep staying to the left and pass the ammo factory right there, the, and there will be another paint can right here. And if I go back, and that's our ammo producing machine right there, you know, uh, pretty good. It's a pretty good little buffer. It's not going to supply you completely with ammo, but it's a good buffer. I'm just going to come up these steps and follow the platform the walkway around this way and go into this room and i'm going to find another lead right here another paint can i should say now as i come out of there then i'm going to want to go i'll show you i'm going to want to go this way i'm going to jump off of here and on this side of the room there's this blue door right there i'm going to go in that blue door and down the stairs and up oh, there's the enemy reload there we go all right so i'm gonna go down here and there's a lot of good scrap in here a lot of good steel scrap and as i go down here if i look to the right on this shelf there will be another paint can and there will also be several rolls of duct tape here so those are where the paint cans that's 20 lead on its own plus the lead or outside next is the lucky hole mine now the lucky hole mine is not exactly my favorite place and it's mainly because when I go in here, well, hold up, hold up. All right. Mainly when I go in here, as you can see right here, when you first go in, you're going to be in the office area. And if you look to your left is the mine area. And if we look, there's an enemy there. A lot of cultists in here and some other enemies. I'll take them out. Up here, there's going to be a tin can and some ammo and, you know, a little bit of steel scrap. But if you go into the mine, you're basically just going to keep 
keep going until you find your lead deposits like this or your lead veins. Now, if you have the excavator power armor, I believe you, you are able to, uh, all right. I believe you're able to cultivate four times the, four times the amount of lead with the, with the excavator power armor. So there we go. There we go. All right. So there's multiple lead deposits down here and you can come out of here with, you know, hundreds of lead. So it's definitely worth checking out. For me, I prefer to hit multiple locations, just get in and out pretty quick of a lot of those, and then go back and craft me some ammo. This is a time-consuming uh, part for me anyway. I feel like it's very time-consuming, but it's still a really good area to come and find a lot of lead. Or the only drawback is, you know, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to smelt that lead ore into lead scrap, and that's gonna cost you acid too. But no big deal, you know. There's a lot there, and just keep in mind. Well, I hope that helps out. You know, if you make this lead run, I make this lead run about once every week or two, uh, usually more like every, you know, week and a half or something. And I come out of this lead run, counting what I get off my enemies with a ton of lead, literally thousands and thousands of lead. And I'm able to make myself, you know, 20, 30,000 rounds of ammo with it that lasts me for quite a while. So it's, it's worth the time, in my opinion. I like to go around and get all this so that that way I can play for a week, a week and a half, and I'm not worried in the least about ammo. Now, it helps to have the perks like Ammo Smith and Super Duper, and it also helps to have the Ammo Factory. As you can see, I haven't even got mine maxed out yet, so as I max them out, I really do expect to make a lot more. Um, and looking forward to having them all maxed out, but I still got a few more levels I have to attain before I can get that far on it. Well, I hope the video was informative. I hope uh, everybody likes it. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, going to be making a lot more videos like this. Going to do some steel runs, acid runs, things like that. And uh, hopefully it helps. For now, gold out.